everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max Torres with Scoop Duck. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. You can also go ahead and hit that notification bell to get notified every time we upload something new. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and drop us a like. It really helps out the channel. Today, I want to talk about one of the biggest storylines we've seen in Oregon football recruiting. Just last night, four-star 2021 tight end Terrence Ferguson committed to the Ducks. For the next four years, I will be attending the University of Oregon. Ferguson is from Heritage High School in Littleton, Colorado, and he holds almost 30 offers. He committed to the Ducks over fellow finalists USC, Auburn, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. If we're looking at the 247 Sports Composite, he is ranked the number 12 tight end in the country and the number three player in Colorado. He is rated .9013 and he could be in line for a ratings bump. With Ferguson now in the fold, the Ducks move up to the number six recruiting class in the nation, just behind USC at number five. The Ducks now have the number two class in the Pac-12 with 15 commits now in the fold, and the Ducks are averaging a commit rating of .9183, which is well above average four-star territory. The Ducks are surging on the recruiting trail and could bring in some big names such as All-American wide receiver Xavier Worthy from Fresno and four-star defensive lineman Keanu Williams. Enough about them, I got to sit down and talk with the Ducks' newest commit on Zoom and break down his decision. All right, now I'd like to welcome in Oregon's newest 2021 commit, four-star tight end Terrence Ferguson out of Littleton, Colorado. Terrence, welcome in, man. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Glad to be talking to you again. Um, I know we spoke back in May, so wanna wanna break down, you know, your Oregon decision, and then kind of look at uh, the future for you, uh, football-wise. So, um, first question right off the bat: Why uh, why was it Oregon? Um, definitely the coaching staff. Uh, they've been family to me pretty much. We talk on a daily basis, and it's more than just football. Um, another big thing I'd say is the offense and how I'd fit in and they'd use me. I think I could be very successful. And um, they're building a championship team right now, so uh, I wanted to be a part of that. Yeah, they, they're definitely uh, building something something real special. They have a ton of momentum. Um, what One of my questions for you is uh, why why did you choose to commit now and how do you feel now that you have that decision made? Oh, I feel really great because uh, now I know where I'm going. I feel like I can just focus on uh, my senior season and go get a ring there. And um, I say, I'd say the biggest reason I committed now is because I felt comfortable and I trust the coaches and I've trust the program. And um, I wanted to be done before my senior season, so that I know I can just focus on the 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 last year of my senior season and I uh, really just have a good year. So. Okay, yeah, get that decision out of the way and then just, you know, solely focus on football. I know the recruiting process can be a stressful one for a lot of people. You know, your phone's always blowing up. Um, in this, you know, age of the, the pandemic, you know, some recruits would, you know, relay their decision, share that news with the staff in person on a visit. Obviously, that wasn't the case for you. Um, just kind of tell us what, what was it like, you know, sharing that news with the staff? I know that you made your decision on Instagram as well as, uh, you know, local TV out there. What was that like? Uh, it was pretty cool. Um, as soon as I got off the news, uh, coach Cristobal called me and we got on FaceTime and he was super excited. So, um, just talking to him and then coach Williams as well, FaceTimed him right after. So I still got to talk to them pretty close to after my decision. So it was pretty cool. Awesome. I'm, I'm sure they were super excited uh, to have you join. You know, you're the second tight end on the team now. So we'll see mm -hmm. if they I, I would think that they're done at the position, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Um, now, you, you know, you had a ton of offers uh, going through the, the process. Um, what do you think set Oregon apart the most from the other schools that you were looking at? You know, your finalists, USC, Auburn, Wisconsin, those kind of schools. Um, I definitely have to say the coaching staff and just kind of the culture that I felt even just through the phone, I could feel it. Um, they're just about family up there and they really truly, I felt cared about me as a person and as a player. And I feel like the offense, I feel like I could fit in and very, uh, develop pretty well and get to my goals. So. Okay. Yeah. Feeling close to the, 
the coach and staff, you know, they're going to be your family once you get to Oregon. On that note, um, is there a particular coach that you'd say you're uh, closest to on the staff? Uh, I'd say Coach Cristobal and Coach Williams, definitely. Okay, yeah. So Coach Williams, you know, for those who don't know, developed a lot of tight ends, uh, O.J. Howard at Alabama. So he, he knows what he's doing. Um, mm-hmm. I think he's, you know, one of the guys that Mario Cristobal brought over to kind of bring that SEC type of culture, what a lot of people have called it, uh, to the West, which is really, you know, taken off now. Um, one question I had for you, we, uh, we talked back in May. Uh, that was my mm-hmm. first time talking to you. Um, I was kind of able to get the feel that Oregon was, you know, I'd say in the lead or they're definitely one of the top schools. Um, you know, fast forward to now, about a month later, um, what, what changed or maybe what didn't change uh, in that, you know, in that time frame? Um, I'd say nothing really changed that much. I think Oregon picked it up really. Um, from when we last talked and just I grew a better relationship with the coaches and uh, got on some vi- uh, virtual visits and talked to them. So I feel like I just got more comfortable with the coaches. Okay. Get, yeah. Getting more comfortable. That's something we hear a lot, especially when it comes to, you know, relationships with uh, all these staffs that are recruiting these prospects. Um, relationships are the biggest thing usually in recruiting, but um, mm-hmm. for you, when you were looking at this decision, was there a number two school or a school that was kind of neck and neck with Oregon or was it Oregon by a mile? Um, I'd say Wisconsin was actually pretty close. There was, uh, I had a really good relationship with their tight ends coach and um, that was probably the hardest one to tell that I wasn't going there. Um, but they were, I'd say it was pretty close with Wisconsin, but Oregon definitely had them by, by a little bit. So. Okay. I'm sure duck fans love to hear that, especially after the uh, Rose bowl win. Rose bowl. Uh, this past season, that was a, a crazy, crazy game. Um, so Wisconsin was up there. And uh, now that you've made this decision, um, I know we talk a lot about, you know, recruits talking to each other, uh, Oregon's class is growing. Are you close to any of the, the 2021 commits? I know they talk about group chats. Uh, did you share the news with them before this all topped off? What's that relationship been like? Oh, uh, no, I've just started talking to him recently. Uh, I've talked to Jackson Powers quite a bit in the past and a little bit of Ty Thompson, but um, that's really it. They We've started talking more now, though. Okay, yeah, I, those are – Jackson was actually the first person I ever talked to on, on this YouTube channel. Um, he's, he's a super cool guy, and he's been, uh, he's been killing it lately um, out in some of the, the Utah camps that they've been having. Um, so, like I mentioned, with you joining the class, uh, Oregon's really, really, you know, surging, got a ton of momentum, number six class in the nation. W- what do you think is, you know, the potential for this class, especially now that you're in the fold? Um, I think it's number one, really. I think um, with the momentum and all the commits that are going, I think everyone's kind of taking notice of the culture and of what built, uh, Oregon's building up there. So, I think the sky's the limit, really. Sky's the limit. Yeah, you you mentioned that people are taking notice um, of Oregon's momentum. When when you reflect on the recruiting process, you see guys committing to Oregon. You know, we have Maliki Matavao uh, commit. He's a tight end. Ty Thompson jumped on board. How does that kind of factor into your decision, you know, looking at a school like, hey, these guys, you know, something's clearly going on here. Like, I could see myself playing with these guys. Um, I think that's a big thing. Um. I really saw a lot of good players jumping onto the team and uh, noticing that and then noticing how the coaches have been building our relationship. I feel like it was really just a clear decision and being able to play with great players just means a championship. So, Yeah, everyone, everyone seems like they have that common goal going for the championship. Everything kind of seems like it fell into place with your recruitment. Now that you have it, you know, in the rearview mirror, what do you think is one part of the recruiting process that, you think people don't hear about? I mean, I know I'm pretty plugged in and I talk to guys like mm-hmm. yourself all the time. What's something that you think, you know, the average college football fan maybe doesn't know about the process? Uh, I'd probably say the stress of it sometimes, of like just getting your phone blown up and having to take calls, up, I'd say multiple calls a day, and uh, just taking some of that time. And then I'd say another part is uh, working, like working out and running and doing all that stuff behind no cameras or nothing about that so it's more than just practice and it's school working out and then uh, building those relationships as well so it becomes a full-time job really 
yeah, a full time job and you're only what probably eighteen or so years old. Yeah, seventeen, uh, seventeen yeah. Seventeen, okay, yeah. Seventeen years old. It's not it's not all glory that we're all seeing, you know, with the, the commitment edits and everything. Um <laughs> now now that you've uh you know committed looking ahead, do you um know at this point if you're gonna sign early, enroll early, any kind of visit plans like that? Um, as soon as the NCAA allows us to go and visit, I'm going to be up there as soon as possible. Um, with graduating early, I don't believe I can now because our school kind of got messed up by the virus and setting all that scheduling up. So, okay, okay, yeah, it's it's all something we're we're trying to adjust to. Um, so just going to have to go roll with the punches. Um. You know, we're looking forward to you being Eugene. I'm sure you're looking forward to that. Uh, you just joined that group chat, you know, getting to be a part of the family. Um, Oregon does have a ton of momentum right now. Are there any other guys that you're hoping will maybe uh, choose the Ducks and join you and Eugene? Uh, I'm not sure yet, but I'm hoping there'll be a couple more here soon. So, Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bet some, some will pop off pretty soon. Um, so now – I kind of wanted to take recruitment aside for a bit and kind of just get to know you more as a person. Um, what, have, what are your interests outside of football when you're not, you know, strapping up the pads? Uh, do you have any kind of career goals or majors in mind once you get to Oregon? Uh, I really want to do something in business and entrepreneurship. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet, or that's not set in stone, but that's something I'd like to look into. And then outside of football, it's really – basketball and just hanging out with my family and friends really all right right on yeah simple simple pleasures like that are something that I'm really uh you know enjoying more uh, these days just getting together with some friends and enjoying being outside stuff like that um and then with with a lot of uh players that end up committing to the Ducks we'll hear them say like oh I, I grew up an Oregon fan I was watching DeAnthony Thomas watching Marcus Mariota um and you know now that time's moving on, um, we don't always see people linking Oregon to those players in particular. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's your Oregon story? Did you grow up an Oregon fan? I know you were in Colorado, so you guys got the buffs yeah. out there. What, what grabbed your attention? Um, I did grow up an Oregon fan. That was my dream school. I was looking through some posters the other day, and it's like your career path, and I had a picture of some Oregon football players on there. So it's pretty cool look back at that. But I grew up an Oregon fan. Uh, me and my best friend actually grew up dreaming of going to Oregon, playing there. So it's pretty cool now that it's actually happening. That's awesome. That's such a cool story. I'm I'm glad you're going to be able to to make that dream a reality uh, by going to Oregon. That's that's really exciting. Um, just just a couple more here, and then I'll get you out of here. Um, don't want to take too much of your time. Um, no, this one I, I'm really curious to ask. I know <laughs> you're not currently a college football player, obviously, but High schools, all kind of levels of athletics are trying to figure out what they need to do to safely get back to, to play. Um, say you were a college football player right now. Uh, mm -hmm. You're coming back on campus to Eugene like we're seeing with a lot of players right now. What are some safety measures that you think you'd like to see that would maybe make you a little bit more comfortable with working out, practicing with all the players, and just being around the team? Um, I'd say the base, big thing would just probably be like – breaking off into smaller groups um so it's not as big of a group and a chance of more people being together and spreading it um i haven't really thought about that. that's a good question um <laughs> i'd also say mass probably it'd make it harder to work out and do things like that but um i'm pretty sure those help and prevent it so i think that's pretty much it i'm <laughs> i'm not sure with that one really that's okay tough question no, yeah, I just – it's it's nothing that we thought we would have to deal with, but, you know, it's yeah. the reality that we're living in. So I was just uh, just curious to ask. Um, one question I want to leave you with, um, now that you're the latest person to commit to the Ducks, um, do you have a message to, to the Oregon fans out there that are going to be cheering you on when you take the field on Saturdays? Uh, I'm just ready to get up there and work and bring my best to you guys and uh, go Ducks. So I'm re I'm ready. Right on. Well, hey, that's the newest Oregon commit right there, 2021 tight end, Terrence Ferguson. He's got the fresh Ducks gear, the, the baseball jersey it looks like. Uh, Terrence, man, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Have a good one.
No, thank you. See ya. Well, there you have it, folks. Oregon's newest commit says he grew up an Oregon fan and is ready to get to work in Eugene. If you liked that video, I have a bunch of other ones just like it here on the channel where I talk to both recruits and commits in the Oregon football scene. Um, so make sure to go check those out and subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at mtorresports. I'll link the rest of our team in the description. That's it for now, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.